Ladies and gentlemen, once again, don't need the earbuds in, but here we are. We got a video for you today. All right. We are doing, you know, it's not super nerdy, but it's kind of nerdy. We're doing football teams this far into the season. Now, here's the deal. I haven't watched every football game out there. I'm not a diehard follower of the NFL, but I keep an eye out. I, I play fantasy football. I do that kind of thing. And so far, there's a lot of teams that have shown up on my radar as extremely good, not good, iffy, whatever, so on and so forth. Um, but here we are. Okay, we're kind of at the halfway point of the season for the NFL, and I decided to do a tier list of the football teams. Now, here's the deal. I'm not going to remember every single one of these uh, teams. Um, I am going to pull something up just as a reference uh, of some of their records right now. There we go. It helps me because it's too much for me to remember record-wise. But a lot of these teams I do remember and I do know. And I feel pretty confident being able to rank them. Uh, I just do. So uh, without further ado, I was looking for the Cardinals. Yeah, three and five. I didn't think they were doing very good. Uh, C. They're a C team. I don't think Kyler Murray is the truth. I think DeAndre Hopkins is very good, but he's coming back off the suspension, so it's going to take him a while to settle in. I think that they're an outskirt playoff team, but I don't think they're going to get it done. Falcons, D tier. They suck. They're 4-4 four and four leading the NFC South. Are you kidding me? Uh, I Then I got to I gotta bump them up, actually. I do like Mariota. There's some people on their team that I don't mind, but overall, I think, yeah, they're they're similar to that. I don't believe in them. The Baltimore Ravens, I think, are B tier. Uh, once again, it's hard to believe in them, hard not to. I love Lamar Jackson. He's a phenomenal quarterback, uh, running back combo in one. No, he's a good quarterback. I'm messing around. That's just for the meme. But I'd put him at B tier. Buffalo Bills are A tier. A lot of people would put him at S, but they're A tier. Uh, I still don't fully believe in Josh Allen. I don't think he is as good as everybody thinks. I think he's decent. I'm not, or not decent. He's better than decent, but I don't think he's this, the second coming of all things as everybody thinks. And I think the Bills are, you know, I could see him skirting into the Super Bowl, but I think they're definitely a deep playoff run, but I, I, I just don't know if they have what it takes uh, in certain situations. It just seems like that's, I don't know. There's just something about them that I don't believe in, that I don't like. They are 6-1, and one, so props to them. But I just something about them just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, North Carolina, I know they're not doing so hot. Where Where are they? Oh yeah, they're two and six. Good golly, dog water, absolute dog water. Uh, Chicago. Now this is gonna be a surprise, but I'm gonna put them in B because I like Justin Fields. I think he has a bright future. Do I think that they figure it out this year? No, but I think the bright future and what they're doing uh, is definitely gonna push them above and beyond. Uh, what some people think. I, I definitely see a brighter future for them than these two. Now, once again, that goes beyond this year, I guess. This is meant to be this year, not overall. Shoot. Well, then I got to put them maybe in C tier. Nah. Yeah, I got to put them in C tier. This is for this year. I'm thinking too far ahead. Um, Wanting to believe in Justin Fields and his capabilities in the Chicago Bears, but I'm going to have to put him in C tier for sure. Uh, the Bengals are B tier. I love Jamar Chase, and unfortunately him being out kind of sucks. Uh, so that kind of brings them down a little bit more. Um, my hot take might even be moving them down more. I'm trying to snag their 4-4 four and four right now. I just... C tier. Jamar Chase being out completely ruins the team, in my opinion. So the Browns, uh, they are three and five, but they're going to be getting Deshaun Watson here back. And despite Deshaun Watson's personal life, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, he's a phenomenal quarterback. And so I'm going to put the Browns in the B tier as we look to shape up and have Deshaun Watson come back. I think the Browns are going to be just as good, if not better, than the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I think their record is good, but I don't believe in them. Yeah, they're six and two. Holy smokes! Uh, but they're B tier. I, I just don't. I don't believe in them. I think Dak's coming back, and I think uh, they're they're going to be a force. But I just ah, 
it's once again it's just like it's just like the the cardinals was it that i was saying it's just something about them doesn't sit right with me and i don't think they're going to prove to be they they're going to be that empty calorie team look at them go winning record you know make the playoffs or cusp of the playoffs but they're not a super bowl contender they're just not broncos dog water detroit c tier hear me out on this their offense and team is actually really good <laughs> They just keep losing games. I, you can't. They can't close out a game, and it's very shocking to me. Uh, Green Bay Packers are dog water, and I have so many I told you so's for the Green Bay Packers. One, Aaron Rodgers, bum. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's overrated, though. Statistics, his blown up statistics over the last few years, uh, or not over the last few years, over his career, blown up numbers, uh, his interceptions, you know, blah, blah, blah. Nobody looks at how many throwaways he has and what a jerk of a teammate he kind of is at times and so on and so forth. Nobody really looked at that stuff. Um, and the fact that Devonte Adams, you know, was good, right? But well, we'll get to the Raiders. Hold on. That doesn't really apply to the Packers, but the Packers are lost. Uh, I, I saw a quote that said, if we just get one win, it could shift momentum. I don't believe it. I think that they actually uh, go winless in the division for the rest of the year, as well as, I mean, depending on what the rest of their schedule looks like. Um, Texans, they're garbage too. That's kind of my team, unfortunately. Uh, but I definitely I definitely think uh, they, they maybe got something going on. Please? You can... You can maybe pull something out. One in five. Good golly. We got to do better than Jacksonville. That's that's where it's going to be at. Uh, the Colts apparently with Sam Ellinger, uh, Ellinger, Ellinger are supposed to be good, but I'm still putting them C tier. Uh, just because they have the hopes of Sam Ellinger, Ellinger, whatever, however you say his name, Sammy, uh, I'm going to put him in C tier. I'm going to put him above these teams. I'm going to put him above Detroit. Um, Cardinals above the Falcons. Uh, Bengals above the Bears, and yeah, that actually looks really good. So the Colts are right there. Uh, Matt Ryan's trash sucks. The Colts suck. Jonathan Taylor overrated, and that looks like the team for me. Jacksonville, trash. Uh, they are, in fact, better than the Texans, though. If we could switch that, thank you. Uh, Kansas City, S-tier team. Uh, they're one of those teams, just like Golden State, that it's it's one of those things where it's like I don't care what their regular season record is, come playoffs they're the team to beat. I don't care if they're wild card. I don't care if they get a first round bye. I don't care if they're like five hundred in the regular season. It's get them to the playoffs and they're gonna dominate. I think they are the team to beat. Uh, I think they're Super Bowl favorites in my opinion, and that's kind of it. Uh, whoops, whoops. Ah, uh, spam. All right, Chargers, B tier. I like Justin Herbert. I want to see them kind of figure some things out. I don't think they have what it takes to really be on this par with uh, the Bills, but I think they're definitely on par with these other teams. I think that's a really good fit for them. L.A. Rams, uh, what is their record? What is their record? Where is it? Ah, three and four. So, yeah, this is right where I'd probably have them. Um, they're right here. They're, they're much like the Cardinals. Something about them just ain't fitting right. Something's not working. Something's not happening. Uh, and so they're just kind of bums. Uh, the Raiders are trash. They're just above Green Bay, though. Um, Devontae Adams, thank you for proving me right once again. I said for the longest time that Aaron Rodgers is what made him look that great. Uh, everybody said he's a route runner. He's number one wide receiver in the NFL. And I said, uh, not without Aaron Rodgers. Well, look at this. He's an absolute bum without Aaron Rodgers. Uh, not saying Aaron Rodgers is the greatest of all time. I don't believe in that conversation, but Aaron Rodgers is a good quarterback. I ripped the Packers, but I do think he was overrated in the GOAT conversation because of his stats. But beside the point, just let me elaborate on that. Uh, the Raiders are just trash. Uh, and I would, in fact, put them below both those teams, uh, Texans and Jaguars. Um, the Dolphins, they're C tier, man. Uh, I know that their record was decent. Then Tua got hurt. Yeah, they're five and three. Tua got hurt. Come back. Well, now they're still not. I don't think they're doing amazing since he's been back. I could be wrong about that. But 
I think they kind of fooled everybody. I really do. I think they fooled everybody. They're in C tier on the way down kind of a thing. I don't think they're better than the Bengals. Um, I think they're right there in C. The Vikings, A tier. Uh, Big reason why I can't put them in S tier is because I don't believe in Kirk Cousins. Uh, I believe in the rest of the team, and the trade Hawkinson to the Vikings is going to help them out a lot. But once again, I still just don't believe in Kirk Cousins. Uh, The Patriots are C-tier. I'd put them right there. The Bears are better than them. Falcons, they're better than them. Uh, Saints, I don't think they're having a great year. They can't. They have like 7,000 quarterbacks that go in every other play, right? Yeah, they're 3-5. and Um, I'm putting them D-tier. Right there works for me. Giants. How in the world are the Giants doing as good as they are? It blows my mind. They're not S tier, though. They're A tier. Uh, I'm only putting them in A tier because of you, Thad. You probably won't watch this. But if you do, I'm putting them in A tier because of you. Otherwise, I'd put them in B. Uh, But it's kind of similar to these teams. I don't fully believe in them, yet they're doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, The New York Jets, again, A tier. I don't understand... I don't understand this Jets behavior. Wait a second. No, B tier. B tier for the Jets. Because they are five and three. Yeah, five and three. So yeah, they're they're B tier. They're B tier. Solid B tier. Eagles, S tier. Didn't realize this was going to be happening this year, but yeah. Steelers, I think, are dog water. Seahawks are B tier. I think they're a very, very good team, and they're a sleeper. Uh, and Geno Smith is actually proving that he is quite good, and I'd put him right next to Baltimore um, until Deshaun can really prove that he still got it. San Francisco, C tier. Right there, maybe a uh, top of C tier might work for me. The Buccaneers, I got to put them in B because you just, I feel like you just can't rule them out. Um, the Tennessee Titans, I would put C tier, um, right there behind or ahead behind Miami ahead of the Cardinals. Washington commanders are garbage. Um, I really don't think they're very good, but I put them right there. So that's kind of my tier list for the halfway point of the season with the NFL. Uh, I understand a lot of my reasonings don't make a lot of sense, and it's not based on t- statistics. I did look at some of their records, but overall, from what I've seen of these teams, the highlights I've seen, the conversations I've heard around these teams, I do pay attention to sports somewhat. This is the rankings that I got for you. Only two S teams. A teams, eh, they're, they're fine. There's just something about them that I don't quite believe in. These two teams, I do believe in. The B teams... Could be a sleeper, could come out of nowhere and make a really great run into the playoffs. I think the Browns are the only one on here that uh, I'm a little more skeptical of because it depends on when Deshaun comes back and how good he is when he comes back. But overall, I think he's going to make that team a lot better and definitely a playoff contender. C teams, you're average. Uh, Something's wrong. You, you, you might have started out hot. You might turn things around a little bit, but you're just fooling everybody. D teams, you're dog water. You suck. Go play college football. That is going to be it, though, for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All right? Uh, I'd be curious what you think in the comments below and how bad I trashed your team. We'll catch you all later. Peace.